friends. It's Tracy and Violet and Boris is over there on the floor from tea time with Tracy and Violet. But it's about 10.30 at night. I put the kids to bed a little while ago. I'll shut this fan off just a minute. It might be making too much noise. I don't know. There. That might be a little better. Anyways, I have another book haul for you. I still have another couple hauls. I have a horror. Well, I haven't opened all the package, packages, but I know I have a lot of horror books to haul and probably some other twisted romance books to haul. But this is more of a dark romance haul for the most part. There's a couple of lighter reads, but I'm not having tea right now. I'm having a Neo Citroen. I have been sneezing. I don't think I have a cold, but I've been sneezing a million times today. I have a runny nose. I have a box of Kleenex right here. And just like my eyes water and stuff, just like hay fever or something. But I'm having a Neo Citroen tonight to help hopefully do something. I got my men menthol nasal spray. <laughs> TMI, I don't know, but I'm a mess. I'm a blubbering mess, but I'm waiting for my son to get home so I can kick his butt upstairs to put my other bookcase together for my in-home library I'm trying to put together. And I have to, I want to haul these books so I can put them on my shelves. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a, a snort off this. Um, it's piping hot. But, yeah, that's what I'm having. I'm not having tea. Usually I like to have a nice hot cup of tea before I go to bed. Not tonight. So I'll start off with one. I did actually take the time to read the back of all these books. If I can actually remember what these books are about, I can explain them a little better. Uh, sometimes when I do a haul, I open them right in front of you and I can't remember what they're called. But I initially bought this one, A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole, because I own every other book by Tilly Cole, I think. I think. I haven't read them all. I read a lot of them, but not all of them yet. This one I think is YA, but it, anybody that talks about this book on YouTube, I guess it's a very emotional book. It makes people cry. If you read a book, want a book to make you cry, this is one of the ones that a lot of people say. So I love Tilly, and I got it secondhand, and it's about one boy, one girl. They grew kind of were best friends growing up. And made a promise to each other to wait for one another and I think the boy moves away and the girl cuts off contact and when he comes back I don't know whether she has another bow or what but um, yeah they were destined to be together and in love and he's heartbroken or something like that there might be a big reason why she went silent I don't know whether there's a sickness I really don't know so that is one I got, and it'll go on my shelves. Oh, gosh. All right. This whole series, I put it there. It's all, I got the whole series. There's five books. Um, it's by Marissa Honeycutt, and I had to order this direct from the author, the first book. I couldn't get it off of Amazon. I bought this new because I've I only seen a few people talk about this. This is a little older, I think. Like, this isn't brand new. But a lot of people, I think people have read it, but it's too dark for a lot of people. Um, the first book is Enslaved. The Life of Anna is, I think, what the series is. So, Enslaved, Entwined, Embraced, Ensnared, and emerged. I'm going to bring you guys up a little closer. I don't know if you can see these or not. So, yeah, that's a little better. Like, you can see it a little better. Anyways, I only read the back of the first book, which I couldn't get on Amazon. I could get the other ones, I think, but the first book I had to get right from the author. And she wrote a nice little letter and stuff for me and actually signed it to Tracy and Violet. And, uh, yeah, I can't really read or write it. <laughs> light in the darkness. Oh, something for the light in the darkness. But yeah, she, I got that from her. And um, on the back, what it said is basically she was born, Anna was, 
entire life was scripted out before she was born by Devin Anderson, a man who doesn't have the best in, have her best interests in mind. So before she was born, she was already locked into whatever she was going to do. She was brought up by an extremely dark, mean, cruel guardian and uh, taught, uh, what was it, uh, Anna's unique gifts to control. Um, yeah, she's going to be used by a really mean man um, to gain power of the U.S., not as president, but the people that control the president, I guess. But she is extremely abused and molded into the perfect sex slave for Devin's use. Devin will use Anna's unique gifts to control everyone around him, uh, eventually take her gifts for himself. But I guess it's extremely dark, almost too dark for a lot of people that they don't recommend it because it's very dark. So that was just like... We'll see about that. And it, it probably is. And I'm excited to read it when I'm in that kind of mood. Because um, darkness doesn't scare me off. I got light in my heart. I can read all the dark. It's not going to dim my light. So um, I'm going to try this one on for size. And I'm glad I got it. And I can put the whole series right up on my shelf. Yes. Love it. Love it. All right. This one isn't so much of a dark one. Uh, this one is Best Friends by Laura Donner. She, This is her latest book in her New Breed series. I don't know how many books. I have every single one of them, and I've read every single one of them. It's kind of not shapeshifter, but um, the whole series um, doesn't have to be read in order, but like their companion books, each book has different people in it but there's kind of an underlining story so you don't have to read it in order but it helps but there's like over 10 books in the series I think this might be 15 or something I'm not sure but it was a while before this book came out and I haven't read it yet um but the new breed spe uh, species are humans that were spliced with animals so there's lions and uh bears and wolves and um chimps i think all right that might be my son coming home anyways so they don't shape shift but they have traits animal traits um so they might look a little different but they they're still humans oh, just a minute ridiculousness Anyways, yes, this is the first, or the, the latest, latest book, and it's um, just on the back, it said, these two friends that are like sisters that run this diner or work at this diner, and a lot of the occupants um, there are new species, it's new species, yeah, uh, customers, and um, it's about to be holed up, and she's all worried about protecting the people in the diner and this makes some of the or specifically oh, what's the guy's name um lash i think he's a lion lion man lash takes notice of mel and you know their story goes from there so yeah. hey that's enough come sit over here oh. Violet and Boris, both of them. All right, I swear, I try to do this when the kids go to bed, but these two guys are just as just as bad as them, making noise and stuff. All right, another one is a dark romance. This is this love hurts by Nikita. Love isn't supposed to hurt like this. I'm sorry, the shine. There, I guess this is a quite. A dark one I just think I read them all the back all at once but oh yeah this one is about um, Cole he's the head of the Mancini family I guess it's kind of mafia it's a standalone book uh, and maybe not the head of it but he's his father was the collector and he was killed and he's out for revenge 
and um, for some reason it leads him back to Addison. I don't know how she was involved, but he takes her captive in order to get revenge, and I guess it's quite dark, and dark and dirty, so um, if you're looking for a love story, this isn't it, but maybe if you're brave enough to stick around, we'll see what happens. All right, so that one, when uh, people mentioned quite like real dark and this one I haven't heard a lot of people talk about so I'm like oh I'll try that one on for size myself sure thing um this one um shallow river she cuts she cut deeper than he ever could by H.D. Carlton I've never read anything by H.D. Carlton um this one is about oh, okay yeah I just had to read a few little blurbs um this is about River McAllister, she escaped from Shallow Hill, and she left behind her innocence and some of her sanity, too. Now she's rebuilding her life with her dream man, and life couldn't be better. Uh, River is married to Ryan Fitzgerald, and everything seems tickety-boo. Everything's great until it turns. Everything's fine until his temper shows. Turns out he's a, an abusive son of a bitch, and... Um, yeah, so there was warnings of boat, uh, spousal abuse in this, um, and Ryan's estranged brother, Mako, I was going to name one of my kids that name, actually, uh, he's an estranged brother, but he's the only one that ever sees him be abusive to River, and he feels like he needs to step in, um, and be the knight in shining armor, only... Ryan doesn't realize River came from Shallow Hill and she never needed saving before. What Mako doesn't see is that River is perfectly capable of taking care of herself. The only one who should be scared is Ryan. So it's not a fluffy kind of romance. I don't know if the romance is between her and the estranged brother or what. I'm really not sure. So that one. All right, this one is a stalker romance. I remember the cover of this. Um, I think he's some sort of an assassin. She doesn't need a hero to save her. She needs a villain. The Danger You Know by Lily White. Um, the man who killed her father, the constant shadow that watches her sleep, the, love, the lover who prefers dirty alleyways to freshly laundered sheets. She's mine, always has been, always will be. And I'm her worst thing. I'm the worst thing for her. Yeah, I'm the only salvation she knows. She had his, he had his chance to make her happy and he failed. It's my job to bring her back to life. I think he killed her like father and things. And since he um, laid eyes on her, he became obsessed with her and watched her throughout the years. And I guess it came time to, you know, nab her or make himself known or something and um yeah a stalker romance right there uh, another one i ordered i had seen people talk about the santiago trilogy i got the whole bind up i think i heard my son now so they're gonna start freaking out again all right this doesn't have a whole lot to say on the back of it this is three books in one i got the i don't know if you can buy them all separately or what but i got the bind up um, he came into my life like a raging storm, the man I despised, the killer with no conscience. I fell as hard as a woman like me can fall. Stop it. Ah, uh, when he bleeds, I feel the pain. When we kiss, I taste his tragedy. When he kills, my heart is strained and all the... Stop it. Leave my books alone. Ah. Uh. Anyways, it's a mafia one. And it's dark apparently not the darkest but it's probably not like light and fluffy and I think she's either assigned to marry this person or he kidnaps her I'm not sure so that one all right um I got these two this isn't really dark romance it is a shifter romance I got this rejected me is the Which one's first? One of them's first. I don't know. One's first and one's second. 
And um, they're not both the same book because one's longer than the other. And the picture is different. I got this because I guess it has fantastic groveling in it, and I like a good book that has a lot of good groveling in it. Uh, like the title says, um, and if you've ever read any kind of shifter, uh, romances are usually faded mates, and you know your mate when you see it. It's an automatic thing. So she sees uh, him. I think he's the son of the leader of the pack, and he rejects her because she's a nobody. Um, but... He turns around later on down the road, and she's kind of rejected by the whole pack after he rejects her, and um, he needs to do some nice groveling, and I guess it's worth it. These guys are running around. As long as you're not barking, I can handle that. Okay, this one is not dark. It's a comedy one. I don't generally read these ones, but I thought I'd get this to mix up between... My horror books and my dark romance books. Faking Mrs. Wright. I guess this is a boss and employee uh, thing. I guess the boss is like very cold and robotic and he needs somebody to pose as his fiance and she's willing to do it because she needs some sort of a big favor that he can help her out with and I don't know what the favor is. But I guess it's cute and funny and I just thought... I could read that just to switch it up. I don't mind. I don't mind that kind of stuff once once in a while. Let's see. Look at these. Hey! If you guys have never seen poodles play, like they sound like they're killing each other. They're not. But that's what they sound like. Alright. The next one is uh, Black Sunshine that was supposed to be a standalone, but then part two came out. Uh, this is a vampire romance. Um, Lenore is about, oh, when she turns 21, on her 21st birthday, she's hanging out with her friends. Anyway, she ends up being kidnapped by this thousand-year-old vampire um, because... What she, Lenore doesn't know is she's a vampire too. She was taken away from vampires by vampire hunters when she was a baby. And I don't know when she turns 21 years old, she starts transi transitioning over to a vampire. And he's taking her to save her or might end up killing her. Um, I'm not sure how that works. But, um, yeah, I like a good vampire book once in a while. I'm not as into them as I used to be, but... Uh, like, loved one, but Karina Hale, I can't remember if I read anything by her or not. I forget. Oh my gosh. You guys are being ridiculous. All right. She's, she's humping him is what she's doing. They're fixed and everything, but for goodness sakes. All right. I'm trying to be quick because this is going to be long. I got this duet series, The Mask Dancer, The Masks and The Dancer. The Dancer and the Mask. I don't know which one's first. Probably the big one's first. I don't know. Um, this one, I guess, is really dark, too. Um, this takes place in Scotland, I think. And there's a woman. I don't know if it says her name on here. Well, no. They stole her away, took her name, took her identity, and took her life. She is a revenge thing they came and kidnapped her i don't know whether she was sold off to pay a debt or they went and took her an eye for an eye kind of thing but there's i don't know if they're three brothers or three friends um and they're known as the masks and um the thing with her though she fights back she's not like a meek and mild um kind of person but they plan on breaking her and uh yeah, and what do monsters do when they stare at their reflection? They break the effing glass. So she fights back in hopes of making them see what monsters they are, but when they see what monsters they, they are, they're going to just make it that much worse. And, yeah, so, yeah, I didn't mind the covers, too. They look pretty cool. Yeah, that one. All right. 
Okay, from now on, all my videos are going to have dog noises in it. I'm just, I'm just stating that that's what's going to happen. Um, so many people are talking about this flipping um, series, the Mindfuck series. It's book one through five. It's all bound up. Um, and this is about a serial killer, but sh the woman's the serial killer, and the man is the FBI person hired to find who the serial killer is, but she... These two are dating, but he doesn't know that she's the serial killer. And that's about all I know about it. But everybody that reads it says it's fantastic. That's all I got to say about that one. All right. I got two from Sorsha Black. I can't remember if I read. It sounds familiar like I read something from her. I think this is all in the same series, but I think they're companion novels. And what it is, women can be hired by filthy rich men to go to this exile island or prey island prey island for a month the first book is about uh, a woman a young girl has to signing one month contract allowing rich foolish men to prey on me isn't a wholesome way to earn a scholarship for my sister but desperate times call for des call for reckless measures um, I guess two of the rough, rugged guys on the island take a fancy to her and make her life miserable with a whole lot of smut, probably. And the second one, I believe that two Russians, two big Russian men kidnap one of the women off the island and take her to Russia and do some sort of something. I don't know for sure. I don't know if this is going to be completely cheese ball. But if it's good cheese, I don't mind it. If it's bad cheese, it'll be disappointing that I got the books. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. This whole series, um, I read, this is from Stylo Phantom. I read Church and Preach, and I did do a video on that before. Um, that's the only thing I read by Stylo Phantom, and I really liked it. It was very dark and toxic, like extremely toxic relationship in that that duet series so I wanted to get something else from her because I like that one <laughs> um, this has four books in it I don't know what order order they go in I think this is the first one though uh, degradation um, reparation <laughs> separation and completion and all I know is the first book the woman ends up having a one night stand with her sister's fiance. I think it was a mistake. I don't know whether she was pushed into it or not, or they were both just mutually. All right. I got Boris up here with me. You better stay your arse here. Stay your arse here, and I mean it. I mean it, boy. Okay. So, nope. You're staying here with me. He's only a baby. He's only five months old, and he's like twice the size of her. At least weighs twice as much. <sighs> Anyways, those two had a one-night stand. The family finds out, disowns her. She loses all her money. I guess she was in a wealthy family. Um, kicks her out. No money. No college or anything like that. Uh, but he's still kind of cherished in the family like he's he, he's no worse for the wear because he was already successful and seven years down the road they meet up again and she's not where you know he thought she would be um and the relationship goes from there but i guess it's kind of dirty and i don't know dark because what i read of stylo phantom before it was quite dark, so um, I'm expecting that to be. Boris, for goodness sakes, simmer down. All right. Um, a lot of people were talking about this. It's uh, Sophie Lark. I've never read anything by her before. It's the, these are the specialty covers. There, it's a duet with, if you start horsing around again, I'm going to put you out in the kitchen and shut the gate. Violet. All right, the normal covers that you might see um, had like people on the covers. I like these much better, much better. Um, I guess it has to do with my phone's about to die. 
um, art art dealers and two rival serial killers take a shine to uh, one girl and they either fight over her or something or she starts turning into a serial killer. I really don't know. All right, I had to make room on there. I forget what I was saying, but <sighs> yeah, serial killer. I think they're young, well, like probably young adults, but they're adult books. So I'm glad I got this copy. I don't think I would have bought if it was another cover and usually covers don't bother me, but I was just like, no, I'm not interested. But when I see those, I'm like, yeah, I'm interested. All right, there's two left and that's it for now. Uh, this one is crazy for a uh, crazy for this girl by Hazel Grace. Um, uh, this one is a second chance romance. I think these two were friends when they were younger. And then it all started the summer going into my freshman year. I became a new neighbor to a pretty blonde with a book in her lap and didn't want my company. And they became best friends, I guess, through high school, wrote letters and everything. And then all of a sudden he up and left and didn't um, say why or something. Years down the road, she ends up working for him and doesn't realize it or something. And he's determined to get her back because he regrets doing what he did. And I guess it's a really, really good grovel in this one too. And I need a good grovel once in a while. So I really like this cover. I really do. And um, yeah, it's a nice chunk. Last but not least is Frivolous by Veronica Lancet. This one is a bodyguard romance, but it's dark. Um, I guess my guard, my bodyguard, my en enemy. When my father hires Sebastian Bailey to protect me, I vow to make him quit within a week. He's rude, overbearing, bossy, and oh, too attractive for his own good. Our hate is as explosive as our chemistry but my plan backfires. Soon he becomes my confidant, my friend, my lover. Until the truth comes to light, too late. Sebastian Bailey is not who he says he is, and he's here only for one thing, to ruin me. And he goes straight for the kill. So I guess he must be a big fancy family, hires her, him to be the bodyguard. She has no choice, but really he has alter, alternative motives. And um, yeah. So that's my romance haul for this go around. I will have another couple of hauls coming out, but for now I can put these up on my shelves when I get them done. So, all right, I'm ready to go to bed. I'm almost done my Neocitron. It's warm now, not hot. These guys had a good romp. He's out there asleep. She's laying here on the floor panting, but I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, yeah. Please don't mind the dog noises. I really don't mind them running around and grunting and groaning and stuff. I just don't want the barking. So, if you don't mind, I don't mind. So, okay. With that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I might see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.